this video it's about creating a key logger with net so as you can see when i click record uh, on quick time player right now on the mac it already registered the left click on the mouse so what i'm going to do is type hello well it's not typing so i need to type hello uh comma space youtube if i can spell it right space basically i'm just typing what i the first line on this app i'll say space a key we'll do periods or dots what do you want to call it logger so that's it so now what is happening here is the app is keeping track of your keys now I already clicked again on the app here. So as you can see, it's register, registering the left click. So I'm gonna close it. When I click close, then it's gonna register another left click. I'm gonna close it. I think you saw that on the video there. Now the idea is that it will create a TXT. Well, I think I have a TXT file here, but you can really just create any type of file. I'm gonna open it uh, always yes notepad so here's the file so we have hello space YouTube it has every key that you type in there's left click right here number lock I think I press number lock and as you can see this key logger is actually working now this is the first version I'm just working on obviously as a disclaimer this is not to be used to spy on people so make sure this is for your learning and as you can see here on line 11 what is it doing is it's just saying where you want the file to write to be saved so it's on the desktop YouTube and that's the file name the next line I have a custom uh, class here called keys it's just a list and I'll show you what that is it's just a simple class with a digit and a value and go back up here we're using an external DLL file so this is how you register or in your app that you're going to be calling an external DLL file and this method basically that you're calling for from this DLL that's the name of it get async key state and it takes in uh, int 32 so that's all you have to do here and obviously you have to bring in this namespace the next thing you do is uh, here is just what I'm just saying in the console app here I'm just getting the keys I'll show you what that is basically well let me go down here keys so what I'm doing here is reading a file called keys.json and it's just reading the serialized into an object into a list and going out so this json is this file here as you can see it's an array and there's objects here so we have a digit one that means left click if the get async key state detects a, a 16 that's a shift and so on and so on so depending on what digit you get that's what the letter means so that's like a dictionary to look up so that's what I'm loading here the actual key logger here here we have a loop or well, line 27 is just a variable to hold the keys and then the while loop here is to run the app forever and then here we're gonna be checking uh, from 0 to 254 and whenever somebody clicks or the person clicks the keyboard and a key yeah, we'll check what digit was that and it comes back with one or negative 32767 then what we'll do is look up that digit in our keys list so that's the lookup basically it's looking up that JSON file then I have a variable here just to keep the letter what letter was it if it's not null, then we'll 
save that letter to that variable, to the L variable. Else basically means we don't have a, a lookup digit. We'll just save the, the number, the integer. Then after that, since now we know what it is, we'll write to the file, to the txt file or any file you want. And all it's taking the value here and creating a stream writer, basically write the value and then close. And you can see here, there's i uh, I'm not using this right now, but you can take this out. And then what, what's happening is the file attribute is going to be hidden. So you can't see it in the window Explorer. Obviously you could click, click options, view and show the, the hidden files and folders here. And then you can see it back again, but I'm not using now for the demo, but you could use that. Uh, okay, so that's all this key logger is doing. It's pretty basic, but it actually works. Um, might do uh, another video about this because I was thinking that after writing this file, it will be nice if the app encrypts the file, and that way nobody knows what the contents of the file is. So. Once again, a disclaimer, please do not use this code or any type of this video uh, to spy on people. That's not the purpose of this video. This video is just to teach you how to learn and build something that is interesting. Okay. Thank you for watching.